All right, how are we feeling? Anybody nervous? Yeah. No? Yeah. I'm a bit nervous. This team is a little bit different than most. They play with a lot of guards, okay? So they're going to play a faster game. Be very careful, they're very good at penetrating the dish for layups or threes. We're really good at running. We can't run without the ball, okay? So box out, get the ball to our guards, push. All right, we want to get to the line. What do I want you guys to bring? What do you guys need to bring to the table? Effort and energy. Effort and energy, all right? When you're out there, take care of itself. You've got to bring that all the time. If you feel like you're dying in it, put your hand up. It's been a long time waiting. Hello! Hello, Chris! After four days of competition, and over 40 round robin and semi-final games, the two remaining undefeated schools meet in the championship grand final. Just, just. Back, back! Mickey, back Jane! Stop just running to your man, you gotta see the runner. Stay Mickey! With a mixture of final year seniors and red shirt freshmen, the game is the final step in a six month odyssey. Nine, eight. Sharp. Yeah, Layla. Yeah, Layla. Oh, come on. Nice pass, Katie. Under the watchful eye of International Basketball Hall of Famer Perry Cameron, the team dominates from the first whistle. Awesome job. This next two, three minutes, we can put this away. All right, be tough. Make those right decisions for each other. Let's go. Got one finally. I oh, know. Good job, coach. Good job. Good job. Yeah, I did well. They did well. Yeah. Happy for you, girls. Good job, Lil. Good job, Katie. Awesome. Thank you so much, girls. This year's been a tough year. You know, Hardy saw a lot of us as a group of 12, 13, had all our injuries. Abs, where's Abby? <laughs> I need my glasses. <laughs> Abs, when she went down, then we kind of lost Katie for a while with her Aussie stuff and her back stuff. Then Lil's knee, just the Layla playing volleyball to egg. Just see all guys commitment in that last game was awesome. All right? You guys deserve it. It's been a long time coming. Hillcrest Senior Girls basketball team have achieved success as a byproduct of a development initiative implemented earlier in the year. This victory has come well ahead of time. And with the national championships only a few months away, there is excitement that the momentum will continue. But for now, the spoils of war are being celebrated. The reason why we're here today is obviously we're following up on our, our basketball program, our basketball excellence program, and speaking about that, we're going to follow up firstly with our coaching philosophy. I've said to you guys that I really want a coaching philosophy that's embedded throughout the whole of what we're doing here. Um, came up with an acronym ICE, uh, and it stands for Inspire, Challenge and Equip. So I want us to be inspirational coaches, and I want us to inspire our, our athletes to do greater also want us to challenge them in the way that they behave and the way that they carry themselves around the college, but more importantly in their field of endeavours, sporting endeavours. 
and equipping them, we've got to get out there and teach them skills and drills. Matt's come up with a uh, fantastic program that um, he's used before, and this is what we shall be implementing. So I'll hand over to Matt. Um, thanks, Rog. Um, so just to explain it, um, in my 10 years of coaching at AFL, um, we always ran our programs off a, you know, a, a structure like this. So you'd always start with, okay, what does it look like at the end? What does it look like um, at its absolute best? I just thought, okay, we want to win national championships and we want to be the destination school. So that would be what it looks like in the end of the year slash five year, however long your plan is for. And then off that you have your three pillars. Okay, how are we going to become the national champions and the, the number one destination school for kids in Queensland is, I put up there, be the number one offensive team, the number one defensive team. And then the big one for me is uh, individual development and improvement. So I, I think you guys have got elite basketball IQ. Um, and I think that if we can help get that out and into a program, then that will help the program run far more efficient, if that makes sense. The program so. planning has brought together a wealth of sporting IQ, including AFL veteran Matthew Lappin and 15-year coach Steve Whelan. What we see, what everybody sees value in. All assembled by Director of Sport, Roger Hodson. Everybody. Yes, I, th I think if you get early investment from the parent, show them what you're going to work on. If that child or that athlete doesn't come consistently, well then that, that just goes back on the, the parent and the athlete. I think you, if you put the program around it and say this is what it looks like, this is what working, get them invested, I reckon that the attendance will will be more consistent. Everyone does have different uh, goals that they have for the program. Right. But, yeah, but we need to program for outcomes with that in mind, but we also need to program for outcomes that we need, you know, as coaches. It, you're never gonna have a general consensus. We need to actually go, yep, this is our program, and we're gonna put it out there. Will there be issues with it? Will there be problems that arise? 100%, without a doubt. If we sit back and do nothing, then we'll be where we are now, sitting here and scratching our heads type thing. That's what I believe. Coaches should own the program and I'm here just to give them a helping hand, to touch base with them, to make sure that I'm empowering them to do their job. The program has been greenlit by the support of the Hillcrest decision makers in an acknowledgement that physical prowess is one of the many steps in the development of a student. Sport is a really important part of what we do. It's part of the actual growth cycle of a, of a human being. And we've got to be able to play sport, and we've got to learn to have teamwork, we've got to learn to be part of something bigger than just ourselves. You actually begin to understand that we can use sport as a, a metaphor for actually creating real life scenarios and how students can learn all about leadership and all about different aspects of life and how they can become valuable members of a community through being members of a sporting team. We're actually able to get the competitive instinct to bring about collaboration, ingenuity, playing the game for what it's actually really worth. The school's number one sport has been bolstered by its impressive legacy, but its growth may have come down more to a one-sided demographic than by actual design. Two thirds of our students happen to be girls. That creates a little bit of a problem in what sports we can play. We've had to target sports where we have small numbers of students who are playing it. So the idea of basketball is an obvious one that we would choose. What we've found though is that we can have lots of teams and we can have them at different year levels. So with over 200 of our students at an elite level in basketball, we can create a really phenomenal program with the help of our coaches, with the help of our families, and we can sustain that really well. An International Hall of Fame basketballer isn't obliged to give back to the game, but for Piero Cameron, coaching is in his blood. Hey, big boys, off, Tom, get off. Everyone down here, let's go, one line. Shoot the ball, see who's the best shooter. Oh, nice shot. Give it your best effort. Doesn't matter if you miss. All right, one shot if you miss. Oh, chicken curry, sit down. All right, stop, stop, stop. Final two. Generally, uh, especially with kids, kids first, no matter what. They need direction to get confident. Keep pushing, keep pushing, let's go. You know, the more I coach, the more you understand. Uh, connection is everything. It's 
same everywhere. You know, you show belief in these um, athletes and students, anything's possible. Ooh. Amazing. Every person's different, so they react to different motivation, commands, different stimulus, you know, and um, you just gotta understand that. And you learn as you go about different players, because um, they have their different experiences. But generally, you try and get them all to be similar and understand that we're going in one direction, and sometimes you can't explain it to 10 different individuals as long as you respect and understand them and spend that time developing that, they will always respect you and what the team wants. Why do you do this every time? We're counting and you're the last one here. He's running though, he ran all the way from the doors. You just walked. Pretty good ball. It's a TF grind. Who hit the big winning shot yesterday? For the attendees at this Gold Coast coaching clinic, the credentials are possibly lost on the young charges but his worldly advice is resolute and powerful. All right, how do you feel when I give you the ball? How does that feel? Good. How does it feel now? Yeah, you want to share the ball, okay? The gift of the pass, passing the ball. We don't care about winning or losing. We just want you to try your hardest, okay? Supporting your teammate, acknowledging they did well, especially when they get a teammate. Never seen Boston and Lakers sit together, so that's pretty cool. This is the spot for us. We love the Gold Coast. And just getting to know the kind of landscape, the basketball landscape, especially in the high school sector. And Hillcrest was one of a couple of schools that were doing pretty well in, in the basketball side of things, but also you know, in the school side of things. So I think this was a good fit for us uh, at that time. Not shy of identifying an opportunity, Cameron quickly recognised several weaknesses in the school's impressive but not completely extensive basketball program. And after a brief period of diagnosis, decided to act on it. The guys program was steady and was solid, but there wasn't much for the girls. And there was an opportunity to jump in and, and do something. So I was, I was really happy and flattered to be a part of that. And just seeing the raw talent walking around, I felt that this place could um, could really explode, especially with the girls. While calm and considered and gentle as a person, Pero Cameron, the coach, adopts more colourful characteristics. I go in with better intentions before the game than during the game, <laughs> so to speak. What are you doing? Tell me. You're just doing nothing. Hey, you got to call the fouls. You got to call the fouls. It's an easy call. Easy call. You know, I ride the team hard to, to do better all the time. I probably ask them those questions during the game to make them think about it. What do we always bring? Energy. Effort and energy, okay? Finish on a shot, what do we finish with? Box out. You've got Ella, you can switch. You know Ella Moore, talk to Layla about how to mark her, okay? That probably goes zone on us. For me, it doesn't matter whether we're up 50 or down five, the same message is coming if I feel you're not putting in that effort and understand that you know if we put in an effort and we put in and we try and we do all the things that are in our control and we lose that's fine I've got no problem with it and help Mickey help good hey, hey, hey. come on call a foul hey ref call a foul on the rebound call a foul Layla switch I can see where you're coming from, but can you just stop with the hands going up in the air? If you want to ask a question, have the answer. Might call a foul. Listen, you guys are all here, play hard. We don't have our best team, but who cares? Everyone steps up. 
Team on three. One, two, three, team. team. Start your warm up, please. The Hillcrest Senior Girls squad has been in training for close to two months, but this is the first time they've taken to the court this year. Unlike most schools, Hillcrest has an independently designed fixture list instead of the standard yearly traditional structure. As such, the program is able to cherry pick its opponents in the lead up to any major tournament. Today, the opposition come from further afield. So we're gonna pick up half court. All right, no pressure in the first quarter. All right, I want Yorelf starting four, five. I want Mickey be a four. Actually, Emma be a five, four. Lil start off at the one, but I don't mind if you two catch it. They're tough though. Mick, make sure you box out. Cool, let's go. Let's go, girls. Hill one, Hill crash. Let's go. Rotate, help side him. Halfway, halfway. Liv, step to the basket for easy layup. Stay down, Jade, stay down. Don't foul. What do you reckon, guys? What could we be doing better? Liv, Liv, Fox. The Canadian visitors offer a different style of play, which forces the home team to adapt and react. Both traits required at the next level of state and national tournament play. Three or four months ago, uh, a person uh, contacted us and said they're bringing out a, a Vancouver high school selection. You know, we always welcome international games. We like to host them. We want to be accommodating and we want to give them a level of basketball which is both superior and similar. Yeah, Mick. Watch it. Look. Injuries and availabilities mean that the roster is not at full strength. Yeah but it presents some younger members of the squad with a chance to get valuable game time. My name is Brad Lidstone. I'm a coach with South Vancouver Island Girls Basketball. The purpose of the trip is to gain some world experience for our players. I've been very impressed with the level of uh, basketball here at Hillcrest. They don't give up. They, they constantly are running their plays and running up and down the court. They definitely fight hard and they're very aggressive. The basketball quality here is definitely better than what we're used to playing. You just have to keep trying. If something doesn't go your way, you just gotta try again and have fun. Lanes, run, 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 let's go, run! Despite a nervous start, the Hillcrest girls pull away to a comfortable lead, giving team captain Charlie Reese a chance to assist on the bench. Yeah, Lily. Yeah, Lily. Yeah, Lily. Let's go, let's so go. when the guard passes it to you, popping high, yeah. then the guard will cut off Shauna, and yeah. then Shauna will come out to the three-point line and catch it. Yeah. So you go to the block, wait for someone to cut over you, and then you scream. So you're good with that. I played yesterday, so I thought that I would step back and just let the younger girls come in and take control. And it was good for me today just to, you know, be there to lead them and cheer them on and just encourage them to play and just be dominant within themselves. Yeah, box! Good job, Liv, stay with her, Liv! Good job, Liv, rebound! We wanted to get you know, more competition, and so that was one of our practice games to get ready for nationals in December. We're quite a young team and quick, so we're just able to push it and run them, and I feel like that's one of our big advantages. Did you get one yesterday? Make sure everyone who didn't get one yesterday's got one. All right. All right. Good job. Good job. Let's go. Go eat. Team on three. One, two, three. It is the international reach of basketball that allows overseas teams to make Hillcrest a critical stop on any Australian tour. It also prepares the home team for the unexpected threat of an unknown opponent. Hi, we just got pizza in the kitchen. Great. Got some food, so yeah, if you want to come over. Yeah, cool. It's all good. Hey guys, we've got a few things to say. Me and my uh, captain here. I know it's tough. You guys had that long haul over here and you guys fought hard. My experiences with the uh, Canadians, it's really tough. They're a bit like the uh, Kiwis. They play a little bit 
bit of rugby out there on the floor. I just want to acknowledge um, the girls for putting up a tough game. Cheers, guys. If Perry Cameron is the pulsing heart of the program, the brains behind the operation is Director of Sport, Roger Hodson. How's it foot? What'd they say? Well, um... Come on! <laughs> Come to the gym tomorrow? When's your grand final? Ah, uh, it's alright. It's all good, kiddo. And then you'll be back next week? Alright. Cool. Nice hair, my man. I was performing this role at another college up in Gladstone, which is in central Queensland. My wife and I had decided to move. That actually looks like a snowman. A snowman? Well, everyone could just get up and sing like a flash mob thing. Do you want to build a snowman? Okay, maybe not. And then I had an interview with the executive head of the college and he liked what I had to say about the, um, the program and how we could move it forward and how we could um, develop it and grow it and so he employed me to do the job. Um, the last person had moved out of the role and had been vacant for a year. Yeah. I know. <laughs> See ya, Abs. 25, yeah. You're holding your age well, buddy. For me, sport is the big why, you know. I always talk about the why with the students. You know, if I could encapsulate any, everything about sport, um, and especially in the coaching uh, dynamics, it would be because they matter. Hey, good game on Monday. That was awesome. You were jumping all over the place. You're like a jackrabbit. Yeah, I know. I think if you, if you could control that a little bit, you'd be absolutely unbeatable. I'm serious. I was watching you just make your leaps, just going, dude's got talent, dude's got talent. It's just a matter of harnessing that A in the right direction. So. Nothing gives me greater joy, in, in, in all honesty, and I get that with my own sons, and I get that with every, every student and every person that I come in contact with. I just want to see them reach their full potential. This is it for me. This is, this is the great calling for me. This is what I love doing. You can't speak into a person's life if you don't have a relationship with them. If all I stand there and do is and talk tactical, technical, that's not a relationship. That's really me standing there and dictating how they're going to act and behave on a field or on a court or up in the gym or wherever, wherever that space may be. For me, if I have a relationship with those students, I can speak into all parts of their lives. You know, I, I'm a firm believer that better, better people make better players. You surf? It's happening. I want to be a role model. I want them to gain some experience from me, whatever limited experience that I can give to them, and, but then also to gain that from others. And the others might be their own peer. The others might be another teacher, the others might be another adult in their life, another coach in their life. I want them to be equipped so that they can go and basically get the best out of every person they have contact with. So I think if I can reach out and, and empower them to do that, then I've reached my goal. Next time on The Season. Competitive nature comes from within and it's something really hard to teach. Right now slow, slow, get in there, get in there. He's been like my biggest mentor for sure. She's going to be going for four years so we're going to miss her terribly. This is my first sort of a meeting like this too so I'm starting to learn, I'm open to learning. She was more interested doing cartwheels around the stadium than playing basketball. For more information about Hillcrest Christian College, visit hillcrestqld.edu.au.